Hey guys, welcome to Watched Film Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the part 1 of an action thriller movie named Wolfpack. The movie starts with a park ranger on the road. He stops his car to see wildfires spreading through the forest. The scene shifts to a bus full of high schoolers. A kid named Everett is seen meditating with his therapist on the phone. The therapist ends by asking Everett whether he is close to the wildfires. He cuts the line and asks his friend Connor who was standing and looking at the fires. Everett also watches the wildfires and starts to freak out. He explains to a girl named Blake by his side that, he is a psychogenic patient. A student named Austin checks online to see that their neighborhood has been evacuated, meaning it is being burnt down. The school sends a message to the students that school has been cancelled. Blake asks Phoebe to lend her phone so that she calls her brother. Phoebe refuses and Blake goes to sit down. Austin asks the driver to let them out whilst recording her. He threatens to show it to their parents if one of them got hurt. Blake takes the phone from his hand and throws it out the window. Austin goes out for his phone and hears the cries of an animal. Suddenly, some animals attack the road destroying everything in their path. Everyone leaves the bus and Everett helps Connor out. Everett is shocked as a mysterious shadow starts to show in front of him. He is thrown away and falls in front of Blake. Blake saves Everett from a car on fire and she runs away. Whilst she leaves, Everett sees bite marks on her body and on his shoulder. She is barked at by a dog named Diesel in her neighborhood. Blake gets home to see her father and brother evacuating the house. Blake goes to check on the bite on her body. She looks in the mirror and sees her acne scars. Her father honks the car and she comes out of the house. They both realize that Danny has left. Blake finds him with his focus somewhere else. She tries to take him away but he wants to show her something. Blake looks at the direction where Danny is pointing and she sees an invisible like figure. They get into the car and leave. They get to the road and get stuck in traffic. Blake offers money for a motel and they leave the road. Everett wakes up in the hospital and hears strange sounds. He checks and see a horned bull in the hospital bed. Just as some claws come out of its stomach Everett wakes up indicating that it was a dream. Blake also has a dream of Everett and herself having fangs and blood in their mouth. Everett gets a call in the hospital. He picks up and a man tells him that, he should leave the hospital and that, the wolf wants to kill him before the full moon. His parents come in and he collapses. The bite is healed but a mysterious scar appears. His scar cannot be seen by his parents but by himself. His mother scolds him for pretending to be hurt. Blake and her family get home and she goes to the washroom. She realizes that her acne scars are gone. She looks carefully and fangs appear in her teeth. She gets scared and moves back. She collapses and sees Everett in the hospital. She wakes up and goes out. Her father asks he about where she is going but she gives him a vague answer. She starts to run on the road at super speed which shocks her. The police come the hospital and Everett escapes. He gets to Blake's burnt house and meets her there. The scene shifts to a guy named Harlan. He is seen in the club and flirting with the DJ. The DJ comes down to the dance floor and flirts back. They both go to a luminous place to make out when Harlan's sister named Luna comes there. He leaves with his sister and she explains that. Their adopted father named Garrett, who is shown to be the park ranger we saw at the beginning of the movie is missing. They get a text from the assistant of their father and go to her. She shows them claw marks on their father's vehicle. Here it's shown that, Harlan and Luna were found in the woods 18 years ago as werewolves by Garrett. He took care of them as his kids and hid their identity from the world. Harlan and Luna are afraid that Garrett might be killed by their real father. Blake and Everett are seen in the burned house. He shows her the scar on his shoulder and she admits that she sees it. Everett sees that he now has six packs and has put on a lot of muscle. He also sees that Blake's acne scars are gone. A werewolf appears behind them ready to attack. Diesel, 
the dog in the neighborhood comes to attack the wolf which give the duo time to escape. The wolf throws Diesel away and attacks the duo. They are trapped and Everett uses his newfound super strength to break away for them. They run away leaving the werewolf growling. They get to a bridge where Everett helps Blake to come down. Blake decides to leave and Everett wants to stop her for her family's safety. Garrett is also surrounded by wildfires and is recording a final speech for Harlan and Luna. He regains his composure and tries to survive for his kids. An investigator named Kristen Ramsey calls Everett to talk to him. He hangs up and decides to go home. A loud howl comes from the woods where the colors of the eyes of Harlan, Luna, Blake, and Everett change. They run towards one direction and meet each other. Their eyes start to glow and Luna asks if they were bitten. She tells Blake and Everett that they are now werewolves, just like her Harlan and herself. Sis to the channel so as not to miss out on the next episode.